What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today I'm going to tell you how long you should rest before competition. Before I start, I just want to tell you that you don't need to dislike this video just because your rest time is different. This is my opinion and this will work for majority of the people. I know for some athletes it's completely different, some need more time, some need a lot less. So I'm just going to explain what works for what I have seen majority. Let's say competition is on Saturday. I usually recommend stop doing any kind of side press exercises or just arm sling table training 7 up to 10 days prior to competition. This is because your tendons need to rest. They will not be on 100%, maybe on, for some people they will be on 100%, but they will rest, they will be fresh. When you're doing arm sling table practice or just side press training, heavy side press training, close to competition, you will not be 100%, you will not be fresh. And just these small things can add up and you can lose to some guys that you never lost before. And on competition day, you will understand how it feels. Maybe seven days work better for you, maybe 10 days, maybe you need a little bit less. But basically, it's just finding out what works for you. Seven to 10 days are guidelines for tendons to recover. I made a video where I talk about tendon recovery time. You can find it somewhere here. And here I explain all the things that you need to understand about tendon recovery. If you're one of those guys like me who trains almost every day or at least three or four times in a week, I recommend doing training sessions on Monday and on Wednesday. On Monday you will do about 80% of the load that you do usually. So it's a little bit lighter, you're not going to exhaustion, you're not overworking your body, you're leaving something just a little bit. Let's say you could have done 100 kilos, you're doing 80 kilos on some exercises. On Wednesday, you're doing short workout, 50%. You focus more on just pump, just moving around the weight, but again, not getting exhausted, not doing new exercises. You don't want to have that adaption start to settle and you don't want that soreness. You should do the same stuff that you did one week before. So on Wednesday, it's a light workout, doing all the stuff that you did, let's say last Wednesday, or it could be other day, and you focus more on table. You just standing on table, just thinking in your head what you're gonna do, visualizing how you're gonna beat everyone. These things work. This is how you get your body ready. Some people want to work out three times a week. It's okay, but you need to understand. You really need to critically understand what was your performance. Could you done better? Were you fresh? and things like that. So these are just some of the guidelines that I recommend. Seven to 10 days for side press and arm sling practice, light workouts from 80% to 50% on the next week. Rest for one or two days, depending on you. For us, it's a bit different. If these are big competitions where I have trained for months, I will take seven days off from training uh, side press and arm sling practice. I will do light workouts on Monday, and Wednesday and then a rest. It's basically the same thing that I said. If this is low level competition, not high level competition, I will work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then I will take the Friday off. This is how I usually do. On Thursday I'm not doing any arm wrestling specific stuff, I'm just training let's say chest, shoulders, things like that, but I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm taking everything away from my arms. Then I'm gonna rest, sleep, eat and compete. It really depends on competition, how much effort you have put in in your training, in your preparation. Again, for everyone it's completely different, but these are the, some of the guidelines that you should be focusing on. And from here you can start working out. Maybe you need two weeks from all the side press training and then you feel 100%. Maybe you need to work out the Thursday, maybe you need to work out each day but just lower intensity. Just find out what's working for you. My opinion in everything regarding diet, training, recovery. Find out what's working for you. Don't just blindly believe what everyone says and think that's the only way. If you feel that you need less time to recover, no problem. If you feel that you need more time to recover, no problem there. Just, just experiment, find things for yourself. Everyone is different, each body is completely different. Some things will work for some and some things will not work for others. I hope this video brought some light into how much you need to rest before competition. Check out the video that I talked about, about tendon recovery to understand more. If you appreciate the videos that I make and you want to help me, please become 
one of my patreons on patreon.com link is in the description you can donate from one dollar in a month up to twelve dollars if you can you can do more and i would really appreciate that stay strong and love armistice